Welcome to Dragon Lawn Gaming, where gaming and law intersect. I am your host, Dragon. We are here playing some Dragon Champions. Thank you very much for being here. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. 71% uh, of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell so you know we're going to go live. We are 15 minutes into Gladiator Duel at this present time. And the purpose of this video today is to talk about what you should do. Not necessarily in gladder, uh, Gladiator duel, duel, but we're talking about resource management and your what you should do for your ability scrolls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here to kind of show you what I'm currently doing. Um, this is the team that I am currently running uh, right now. They're not particularly great. Um, let's go ahead and show them on screen real quick for my gladiators and we're going to see where we end up and then here towards the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you exactly how many scrolls you need to get to six uh skill level six so as you can see i'm skill level five here uh, across the board 68 six six five and three with mar four 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 and four or uh for uh lover and then four three three and three for master duo and then mega wheel is only 62 and he's got two two one and one and he's level 62 and gear level seven and so i don't have great mods on them i haven't really done any of that and i'm just gonna go into the event and see what i can do on these all right so let's go ahead and go on in and see how this event goes. Like I said, I went ahead and I calculated all the different types, like what you need for how many scrolls you need for skill one, uh, for skill one, skill two, skill three, right? Um, the total scrolls you need uh, for those. And so look, we're looking at right here, we're level 50. Uh, these guys are level 50. Uh, and so we should be able to run through these, I think, pretty easily. Um, let's go ahead and attack healer oh, let's get general murdoch out of here it doesn't look like this is going to be a problem um it's the next one that i'm more or less worried about um and i was going to see if i can try 70 um i don't think that i'll be able to do that one but yeah nothing nothing no reason not to try so we're going to go ahead and hit Mar up here and go fast. Looks like that actually worked out pretty nicely. Um, let's go ahead and taunt. Um, he gets cheat death. And, so. so let's take a look. Alright, so we got, got our rewards there. So 80 scrolls. 80... So as you saw right there, we got we got eighty we got eighty scrolls because we got double that time, right? So this the first time here, we'll get forty, eighty, and a hundred. Uh, so let's go ahead and go on in. I should probably not skip through that so fast next time because I wanted to actually see what the abilities were. Um, but so while we're waiting for the loading screens here. For skill one, you need 90 green scrolls to get your skill one ability. So that's going to be your basic. Uh, when I'm talking about abilities, number one is going to be the basic. Two is the first special. Three is the second special. And then your passive and then a leadership. That's how we'll discuss these. But you need 90 scrolls. 90 scrolls uh, to... Uh, 90 green scrolls to get to uh 60 or to six level six so that's pretty you know if you think about that that's a lot that's a lot of scrolls um to get to six blue scrolls for for one uh for level one you have to have uh, 60 60 blue scrolls uh, that's once again, that's a lot of blue scrolls to get through. Um, as you can see here, we're at we're fighting the level 60s here. Or it looks like they're gear seven or eight, and we're we're struggling a little bit. So let's go ahead and kill Kagi here. 
And then purple scrolls, you need a total of 12 purple scrolls uh, to get your skill, your, all your, your skill to, all of your skills. Uh, skill 1, 2, so you need 90 green, 60 blue, and 12 purple scrolls to get your first skill to, uh, to level 6. So your basic will be level six at that much. It's a lot. You're, it's a lot. Um, you also have, if you're if you're going on to your second ability, your first special, uh, you need a hundred and five scrolls. One hundred and five scrolls, uh, green scrolls. Uh, and then you need seventy, yes, seventy blue scrolls. Oh, look at that. We're just, we're just getting wrecked. Oh, look at that. Big hit. We'll go ahead and heal that way first. All right. 70 blue scrolls and 21 purple scrolls to get there. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of scrolls. Um, so once again, let's go ahead and recap that again. 105 green scrolls for skill 2. One, oh, 70 green scroll blue scrolls so i apologize so 105 green scrolls for skill 2 blue scrolls are 70 and purple scrolls are 21 those are what you need total and as you see we got 100 green this time 80 blue and 40 all right for your skill 3 so for your your second special skill 3 you need 120 total scrolls green scrolls blue scrolls you need uh you need uh, 80 blue scrolls and purple scrolls you need 24 so that's that's quite a lot that's quite a lot so we had a we really struggled with that other ones so i doubt i'm going to be able to do this um they were blowing away mortha here um so we're just gonna we're just gonna see what this is like um, so for skill three, you need 120 green scrolls, blue scrolls, you need 80 and you need 24 purple scrolls for your third skill. So that would be on, on this one. This would be his eviscerate would be his third one for your leadership or for, sorry, for your passive ability, you need 35 green scroll, 135 green scrolls. Uh, 90 blue scrolls and 27 purple scrolls um, and so that's what is needed to be able to do uh, your passive ability all the way up and then if you have a leadership character and the leaderships are the ones that cost the most and as you can see here we're getting we're getting wrecked so we're not obviously going to be able to complete this uh, but for leadership you need 150 blue scrolls to get your leadership all the way up you need 90 blue or 150 green scrolls i apologize 90 blue scrolls and 30 purple scrolls to go all the way so as you can see we're we're not going to beat this not even anywhere close uh, and there we go so obviously if you're under under geared you're just gonna get smashed <laughs> so but let's talk about it again so green scrolls 150 green scrolls for the leadership ability to be maxed 90 blue scrolls 30 purple scrolls so i'm gonna go ahead and just auto battle this and give you the totals so for total green scrolls for non-leadership heroes so he heroes that do not have a leadership you need one 450 green scrolls to level one guy from one to six one hero Total blue scrolls for non-leadership heroes is 300. And total purple scrolls for non-leadership heroes are 60. So you need 450 total green scrolls, 300 blue scrolls, and 60 purple scrolls to level one character, non-leadership character, from ability 1 to ability 6. Last, Lastly, if you're talking about leadership heroes, yeah, leadership heroes such as uh, you know, Nidiel or uh, Patriarch Chi, uh, Solius, Tromgar, right? those types, you need 600 green scrolls 
to level every single one of their abilities to six. Um, 390 blue scrolls and 90 purple scrolls. So it's a ton, ton of scrolls that you need to have. And I know right now with the with the ability with the new uh with the new special offers that are coming out if you think about it right like you're looking at the special offers it's great because we need all the ability scrolls we can get but you're talking about needing 90 for your first one right 90 green scrolls that's not enough uh to get your first ability there 60 which is just enough to get it there and right and you're getting more than you need for purple exactly what you need for green and only you know 10 less purples or green scrolls just to get your basic ability up so keep that in mind when you're when you're doing these events you need to you need to know what you're going to have understand that you this is what you what you're what you're looking at um because if you decide to just level one person from one to six across the board you're going to use a lot of your abilities up and i did that today with sharp and that's why i created the video primarily because i wanted i did this with sharp i took every single one of his abilities from one to six primarily for the tournament that is going on right now and for the tournaments that are going to happen and for uh the ember ember ray or the ember event that is coming up and so the very very important i decided i chose him he actually does quite a bit of damage hits really hard um with all his abilities up so all right well if you like i said uh this is kind of what i wanted to do i wanted to give you all the information have it all available to you uh and that sort of thing i am going to slide my chart over um real quick um Real quick so you can see what it is if i can make it bigger i will but i don't know exactly how to do that um, but as you can see that you probably can't see this very well on the screen uh, now that i think about it so i'm it is there it is there it's a little hard to it's a little hard to uh read and i'm not exactly sure let's see all right there we go couldn't find it there so we're talking about green scrolls We'll just make this big, right? Green scroll skills, 90, 60, 12. Green, uh, green scrolls skill 2, uh, 105, 70, and 21. Green scrolls 3, 20, uh, 120, 80, and 24. Green scrolls 4, 30, 135, 90, and 27. Green scrolls leadership for leaderships, 150 green scrolls, 90 blue, and 30 purple. Total amount of green scrolls needed for non-leadership characters, 450, 300, and uh, 300 blue, and 60 purple. And then for non, for leadership heroes, you need 600 green scrolls, not 390, and 90. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really do. I hope this helps you out with where to allocate your abilities and where you use your ability scrolls if you do like this video here drop a like on it comment down below and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect